Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the multi cursor widget in MyPilot. Alright, so here's the example we'll be creating in this exercise. Here in my window, I have three different uh, line graphs, and each line graph is in their own independent uh, access uh, container. And using the multi cursor widget, we'll be able to apply the cursor widget across multiple access containers. Alright, so here let me close this window and let's get started. So here in my script, I'm importing the pandas module. Oh, and right here is my uh, data set. And if we look at this table, I have uh, five columns. Actually, let me delete the last column. Alright, so this is going to be my uh, x axis labels, which is going to be the uh, pairs. And column B, C, and D are going to be my uh, data points. Alright, so in my script, I'm importing the pandas module to read the data set, followed by the uh, mypilot.pyplot module as plt. And to import the multi curse widget from mypilot.widgets, I'm going to import the multi cursor class. Alright, so here uh, let me import the pairs first. And it's going to be coming from the index. I want to input my uh, data points. And it's going to be issued. So from DF object, I can reference the column label. And this will be denied and pending. Alright, so I have my uh, data values. Now I'm going to create my figure and access object. So from plt subplus, I want to make my figure to contain three rows in one column. And I want all the access container to share the uh, x axis. So I'll set the value to true. And I also set the figure size. Now let's do 9 by 6. Right, so this is going to be our initial setup. So I have three access containers. The next thing I want to do here is I want to update the x axis label. I'm going to reference the x object that set x ticks. And the labels are coming from pairs object. Now I'm going to construct my uh, line graphs. And here, let me rename this to axis. Here, uh, let me change that to plt. And now it's the x text method instead. All right, so here, uh, let's create the line graphs. And it's going to be issued, denied, and pending. And I'll change the axis index uh, to 1 for this one and to 2 for this one. Alright, so to insert the multi cursor widget, we need to insert the multi cursor class. Then we need to tell the multi cursor uh, class we want to insert the widget. And I want to insert the widget to my uh, figures window. So I'm going to type figure.canvas. And I want to apply the widgets to all my access object. So here I need to uh, insert each access object individually. All right, so for the uh, line color, let's do orange. And for the language, let's do two. And I'll name the outputs multi cursor. Now I want to go back to the uh, 
documentation. Right, so if you go to event handling and picking a uh, documentation page, if you scroll down a little bit uh, to the event connection section, then here's a list of events that you can uh, assign to the multi cursor widget. And I want to insert the uh, button plus event to return the corner position as well as the uh, X and Y value. Here, let's do this. I'm going to create a function. And I'll name this function on press. And this function will take a parameter called event. If we want to return the corner position from the event argument, we can reference the X and Y attributes. And if we want to return the uh, data points value, then we'll reference X data and Y data attributes. And to connect the event signal to the multi cursor object, then we'll reference the MPL underscore connect method. Then we we'll need to supply the event name, and it's going to be button plus event, followed by the function one to fire. And that's it. Right, so if you have a typo somewhere, this should be a figure dot canvas. Right, so here's my uh, final product. Now, let's say I want to return the uh, corner position in the x and y data points at this location. I'm going to press my uh, left key, and that will return the corner value followed by the X and Y data points. So this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.